Hello parents and students. My name is Harshida and welcome to my channel Loft Academia. Today we will be discussing IGKO International General Knowledge Olympiad for class 2 chapter number 2. Chapter 2 is plants and animals. Various topics which are covered in this chapter are plants, their types, paths, various products from plants animals their types babies the sounds they make the homes in which they stay and any animal products and we will be also discussing common birds let's get started with our question number one which is the largest land animal in the world as you can see in the options you have been given various animals and the largest land animal in the world is elephant so which is option a please tick it let's move to the next question which of the following is an edible stem so let's look at the options which are given this is a carrot which is a root this is radish which is again a root this is potato which is actually the stem of the plant and this is brinjal which is the fruit vegetable and hence answer to this question is option c please take it and transfer to the oma sheet as well let's look at the next question seven spotted lady ladybug has dash spots on each side and dash spots in the middle of the body so for seven spotted ladybug we have total seven spots out of which three spots are on left side and three on the right side and there is one spot in the middle so which means this particular blank is now replaced by three and this by one and hence three comma one which is option c is the answer to this question please take it and transfer to the omr sheet as well let us look at the next question. The nut shown in the picture is one of the largest nuts to be found. What is it called? So as you can see in this picture, if we closely look at this picture, the nut which is shown over here is a coconut and which is option D and it's the largest nut as well. So please take it and transfer to the OMA sheet. Now let's look at the next question i am a big yellow colored flower whose seeds are edible who am i as you can see in the options a is rose b is sunflower c is china rose and d is daisy the big yellow colored flower whose seeds are edible which means we even have their seeds right so that is nothing but sunflower so please stick it in your question paper and transfer all these answers to the OMR sheet. Moving on to the next question, question number six, dash is the smallest living bird. The smallest living bird is bee hummingbird, which is up to six centimeters in height. So please stick it and transfer to OMR sheet as well. Let's move to the next question. Which of the following animals give birth to young ones? Which of them give birth to young ones? Which means they don't lay eggs. Okay. So cockroach, yes, they lay eggs. Frog, yes. Eagle as well. And mouse is the one which gives birth to young ones. So option C is the answer. Please tick it. Question number eight. I am active at night. I hoot. Who am I? As we all know, owl is the bird who is very much active at the night and at the same time, owl hoots. So, which is option A? Please tick it and transfer to OMR sheet as well. Moving to the next question, question number 9. The baby of the animal shown in the picture is called a 
slash an. This is a baby of a monkey. And baby of the monkey is called as an infant. Cub is baby of lion, kitten of cat, puppy of dog. And baby of monkey is called as infant. Please tick it. I am a ferocious animal. I live in a cave called den. Who am I? Who is ferocious? We know king of the jungle, lion. And also lives in the cave which is called as den. So, sea lion is the answer to this question. Let's move to the next question. Which of the following animals is a plant eater? Option A, eagle. Of course not. Because eagle hunts various other animals also. Snake also hunts other animals, especially their eggs. Giraffe, yes. Giraffe is a plant eater and tiger is not. So, plant eater are also called as herbivorous animals and meat eater are called as carnivorous animal. So, in your paper, you might even get asked herbivorous or carnivorous and accordingly, you can answer. Let's look at the next question. Which of the following animals has a hard shell covering on its body? So, the animal which has hard shell and which is covering its body protected with the hard shell from outside is nothing but tortoise which is option B. Please tick it. Moving to the next question, question number 13. This animal is found in Australia. It hops on its hind legs. What are hind legs? Hind legs are the legs which are at the back side. Right? The female carries its young one in a pouch. Which animal are we talking about? So, as we all know that there is a pouch with kangaroo and kangaroo keeps young one in that pouch. Right? And kangaroos are found only in Australia also. At the same time, it hops on its hind legs. So, which is option D, which satisfies all the information given in this question. Please tick it. Next question. Which of the following does not grow under the soil? So, as you can see from the picture, A is ginger, definitely grows under the soil. B is onion, yeah, under the soil as well. Cabbage. Cabbage is a leaf vegetable which is which grows above the soil and D is a root vegetable radish which grows under the ground and hence option C is the answer to this question. Please stick it in your question paper and transfer all the answers to the OMR sheet. Moving on to the next question, question number 15. I am a cheek, fluffy and yellow in color. Whose young one am I? Who is fluffy, yellow in color in this picture? Isn't it a young one of hen? Which is option B. So please tick it. Moving on to the next question. I am an animal. The sound I make is called neighing. Who am I? Who does neighing? Is it cow? Is it horse? Is it lion? Or monkey? It is horse who does the neighing sound. And hence, B horse is answer to this question. Let's move to the next question. Question number 17. Which of these plants is a water plant? All of the options which are given, such as orchid, daisy, pansy, all are not water plants, right? It is duckweed, which floats on water. It is green in color and it floats on water, right? So, duckweed is the answer to this question. Please tick it. I 
Let us look at the next question. I am an insect. I make a buzzing sound and feed on rotten fruits, vegetables and garbage. Who am I? So the insect which makes buzzing sound. It is also honeybee and housefly. However, honeybee feeds on the nectar and housefly feeds on rotten fruit, vegetable or garbage. And hence, answer to this question is housefly option C. Let's move to the next question. Which of the following things are provided by plants? Pulses, fibers, coffee or all of these? As you can see, all of the options are provided by plants because pulses are also seeds which we eat, fibers is present in, in vegetables and fruits, some of the fruits as well. C is coffee which is, a, which is again coming from a seed and hence all of these is the answer to this question. So please tick it. Moving on to the next question, which is question number 20. Identify the animal which is shown in the picture. As you can see from the picture, it is seahorse and no other option. Okay, so hence, please tick it. The rest of the options is not this. And hence, this is a seahorse. Please tick it and transfer to the OMR sheet. Let us look at the last section which is achievers section of this chapter all these questions in this section carry two marks each so let's get started select the incorrect match so out of all the four options there is one match which is incorrect if you closely observe the leaf which is given so yes this is a banana tree right this is the leaf of a banana tree this leaf is also of papaya tree so yes this mat the, these both a and b are matching let us look at option c palm tree yes this indeed is a palm tree so which means our option d should be incorrect now what this leaf is this is of a people tree eucalyptus leaf are elongated one and it is not of this shape they are bit elongated of this kind this way almost of the shape of a flat chili for that matter okay so and they they have medicinal values um uh, you can you can actually make eucalyptus oil out of it and it is used when especially when you get cold so you use it um, on your nose or on your chest and um, you get relief from cold so this is certainly an incorrect match and hence answer to this question please tick it let's move to the next question select the correct statements so there are set of statements which are given and we have to select the correct statements out of this so the first statement sheep's home is called fold yes sheep's home is called as sheep fold so yes this is correct a giraffe bleats yes that is also correct the sound which giraffe makes is bleat so giraffe bleats yes a fawn grows into a horse fawn is young one of deer not horse so a fawn would never grow into a horse so definitely this is incorrect statement so so far statement one statement two are correct let us look at fourth statement statement four says leather can be obtained from skin of pigs and cattle yes that is correct and hence of hence statement one statement two and statement four are correct which is option b please stick it in your question paper and transfer to OMR sheet. Let us look at the next question. Which of the following animals is found only in Australia? Let us look at the options which are given. Cola. Yes, cola is found in Australia. Giant panda is found in China. 
right? Polar bear is found in Arctic Circle. All right, and the last option is chipmunk. It is found in North America. Right, so which means answer to our question is option A, which is found only in Australia. Let let us look at the next question, question number twenty four. Rearrange the given letters to find the name of a hard material obtained from the tusk of elephants. So what is what is made out of tusk of elephant? It is ivory. Let us look at the each options and see if we have ivory. Option A, what is it? If I have to unscramble, this is a leather. L E A T H E R. So, not answer to our question. What is this? Ivory. Isn't our answer? It is. Right, but still, let's look at the other options. This is egg. This is milk. And hence, option B is the answer to the question. Let us look at next question, which is the last question of this chapter. Which of the following animals does not lay egg? So we know pigeons do. Do lay eggs? Um, crow. They also lay egg, and parrot as well. However, option B is a bat, which is a mammal. So it it gives birth, does not lay egg. So hence, answer to the question. So with this, we complete our second chapter, plants and animals. Let's look at our table of content and tick chapter two and say yes. This is as well done. Thank you so so much for watching my channel, and please show your love and support by subscribing Loft Academia. Stay blessed and stay safe. Bye bye.